yo yo what is up guys it's your boy ty skits here and today we're playing car extra facing online and today's car extra facing online video i'll be showing you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the burner jdm man if you guys enjoy this video make sure to subscribe turn off post notifications and drop a like man it's your boy ty skits here aka baby ty now i'm just playing hey man but say if you haven't heard my music on my music channel uh i'll try to remember to put the link below in the description if you haven't heard any of my music go and check out my music i'm gonna be dropping way more music sorry i haven't been dropping tunes man i've been focused on you know other talents because i got more than one gift so i'm trying to express multiple but man that's that's all i gotta say about that let's go ahead and get into the video so this is going to be a class 3 car it's down here on row 3 once you have the car equip the ultimate drift setup onto the car once you have that done go ahead and equip the body kit let me change my rims real quick because i low-key switched them out by accident doing a practice fit okay those are cool those are cool all right i'll show you guys what body kit i have so i have the rnt body kit and i'll just go ahead and show you guys each part that i have on the kit if you guys want to run the same thing my wheels are modded so i can't show you that but <clears throat> everything else uh you guys should be able to use so should be good and if you guys really want to see what i'm using and slow it down oh my god i changed the rims again hold on wait 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 okay fuck it i'm gonna just throw this on there all right let's go ahead and get into the dyno stand for your suspension your front spring length is going to be nine rear spring length is going to be eight front spring stiffness 115 rear spring stiffness 110 now if you guys are wondering what i did to the tune to change it for the new update basically i just changed like three or four things like it's not it wasn't a lot to change it was just spring stiffness funnel drive tire pressure yada 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 not too much but basically it's the same tune just upgraded so that it'll work on this new update all right so back to the tune uh front and rear damper fast bump 5500 front and rear damper fast rebound 15k front and rear damper bump 10k front and rear damper rebound 20k front toes 0 0.40 rear toe negative 0 0.20 rear camera negative 1.69 or you can put it at two uh front camera negative 4.35 Front and rear anti roll bar at 40, caster at 9, because the cars naturally get a lot more wider now, so I lowered the caster down. Uh, Ackerman angle 24%, max steering angle 60 degrees. This could be at 9.5 even. I'm going to just put it at 9.5. Uh, for the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 19. Front and rear tire width 285, front tire pressure 170, rear tire pressure 180. Front and rear wheel adhesion 120. Uh, I've heard that it, my tunes work on 190, so I don't know if that's true or not, but if that's your thing, go ahead and use 100 or 90. Uh, front wheel track one, rear base negative three, front and rear tire profile 25%. For the engine, turn everything all the way up to max. For the transmission, uh, no sequential transmission. I don't use that. Uh, diff lock ratio 1.00. Final drive 3.90. Gear 1, 3.80. Gear 2, 1.48. Gear 3, 1.18. Gear 4, 1.10. Gear 5, 1.03. And gear 6 is going to be 0 0.98. For the brakes, your brake torque is going to be 3,500. Front rate by 70%. ABS, no. Launch control tandems, no. So once you have the tune complete, go ahead and test it out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you like about the tune. And make sure you leave a like on the video, man. I really appreciate that. But we're going to go ahead and test out the car ourselves. I mean, obviously, I've already tested it. But let's go ahead and take it further and show you guys in the video. So we're going to be loading into this Red Rock map. Hopefully uh, we can get some tandems in, but if not, we'll just hit some solo lines, you know, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Let's get it. <clears throat> I swear this lobby just had 10 out of 16, now it's 16 out of 16, that fast. Okay, just got a little bit of lag there, we're good. You know, a little bit of connection lag. Okay, the game's starting, okay, there we go, we're good, we're good. A little bit of connection lag, you know, when you join a lobby, it tends to lag, but it's Gucci though, it's Gucci. So one thing I really like about the Burner JDM is like, this is probably like one of the ultimate tandem cars in the game. So yeah, if you want to have like a really, really smooth car, whether you're on 120, 100 or 90, the Burner JDM is definitely one of the best tandem cars. And I know I said I was going to be putting out a top 10 uh, drift cars video, which I will be doing. I just have not gotten to it yet because like I said, I've been focused on other talents. Okay. We got drifty skits. Okay. Close enough to my name. Close enough. That works. All right. Let's get it. So I actually have collision off for console players, which eh, that's all right. But I'm going to just show you guys some lines real quick. Just so you guys know what's up. I want you guys to know that this is a good tune. And I'm not giving you no dog water. So hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I probably won't be talking too much. I got to focus up.
Yeah, that 9.5 caster really complements this pretty well, too. Dude, this thing is just too good, low-key. It's holding, like, really, really good lines. I mean, if you know how to drive on 120, you can hold some some decent lines, you know? But if you don't know how to really drive that 120, uh, yeah, it might not be might not be for you, buddy. But like I said, you know, you can use 100 or 90. I've heard from multiple people that my tunes work on different adhesions, so you might have to tweak it a little bit just because it's on lower adhesion, you know, if that's your thing. But uh, other than that, it should still be an excellent tune for anybody looking for a new burner JDM tune for update 2.110. That was a near miss. See, that's why I have collisions off. Cause like, see, if I had it on, there's a possibility he could have hit me, and that would have ruined the whole vibe, low key. So, good play on my part. Good play on my part. Okay, these dudes are going backwards on the track. Nice. All right. So as you guys can see there, man, this is a pretty, not even pretty decent. This is one of the best tunes out for the Burner JDM right now. I don't know who else or if anyone even has dropped. A new tune for the burner jdm but if they haven't man i hope you guys did enjoy this one and also if you enjoyed this entire video please drop a like if you didn't like the tune and you like the video at least drop a like on the video man and, and turn on you know subscribe turn on post notifications all that youtube stuff <laughs> and uh yeah this has been your boy ty skids aka baby ty the rapper and i'll see you guys next time peace